Is it frustrating when you book an appointment and you're all revved up and you cannot wait to meet with that buyer or seller and you're like, man, this is money in the bank and Lord knows I could use a new client right now and they don't show up or they cancel or they postpone or they ghost you or whatever else can happen and it doesn't just ruin your day. That's an understatement. It can be a little bit worse than that. But what if I told you there's a remedy to this that can guard against it happening with any kind of frequency? That's what we're going to talk about here today. I'm James McDonald with Agent Lead to Close and I'm really excited to bring another tip for all the subscribers at Agent Inner Circle here today. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit brief, but very, very important and effective. And I wanna break it down into two sides. You have booked an appointment with a buyer prospect to meet with them physically, and you've booked an appointment with a seller prospect to meet with them at their home. And what we wanna guard against is that appointment not happening for whatever reason. They cancel, they postpone, they reschedule, they just don't show up. You know, they list with another agent. Oh my God, there are all kinds of things that can happen. What we want to do is we want to guard against those things. So here's what we're going to do. When we book the appointment, let's start on the buyer side. When we book the appointment on the buyer side, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that appointment is booked within, let's say, 48 to 72 hours of the time that we're talking to them. The sooner the appointment is to now, the more likely it is the appointment will actually happen. Okay, so if we book an appointment and we say, when's a good time for you? And they say, two weeks from now. You're like, uh, I was kind of hoping for sooner. But the problem is, two weeks from now, it's highly unlikely that appointment happens. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's far less likely. Put it this way. If they said, well, I'm available in two hours, that appointment would happen, right? So if we exaggerate this, an appointment that is booked in two hours from now is very, very likely to happen, almost a certainty. An appointment that's two weeks away or what about two months away, the further away, the less likely it is. So we want to control that. When we book an appointment, we're not saying when's a good time for you. What we're going to say is, hey, I'm flexible. Do you have some time later on today or perhaps tomorrow or the weekend would be more convenient to you? What we're going to do is we're going to make it feel like we're giving them options, but we're going to corral the prospect into a time frame that's within reason. And reason to us is sort of that 48 to 72 hour window where we know it's far more likely the appointment happens. Okay. So again, what we want to do is, you know, make it informal. Hey, I'm flexible. When have you got some time to sit down with me and show me what you're looking for? When have you got some time? When is a good time for me to come and check out your property? Do you have some time later on today, perhaps maybe this evening or would tomorrow or the weekend be more convenient for you? Like I'm giving you all these options. It's up to you. But really you'll notice I'm giving them options that are all within my window. And you know what you're going to discover? The overwhelming majority of the time, they're going to pick one. Not always. But again, we can't let perfect be the enemy of good. If I told you that eight or nine times out of 10, they pick one and then that appointment ends up happening, that's a whole lot better than saying, hey, when can we meet? And they say, oh, but how about a couple of weeks from now? And a couple of weeks from now, they've long forgotten about it and it doesn't happen. See, this is one of the ways we can guard about that. Okay, so now we agree on an appointment. Now what we want to do is this. The logistics of the of the appointment, of course, are important. What do I mean by that? Where are we meeting? When are we meeting? I'm looking forward to seeing you at our office on, you know, on uh, Saturday at 9 a.m. Here's my address. Like all of that stuff is really, really important. But what we really want to do, the last thing we want to leave in the prospect's mind is the benefit of the appointment. So let's say the benefit of that appointment that I had booked with my buyer was, I'm going to show you how I can find you off-market unlisted properties in the specific areas, neighborhoods that you're interested in. These are properties not on the market right now, not on the MLS, not for sale to anyone else. And I'm going to find them for you and show you how. I want to leave that in their minds when I hang up the phone, not the logistics of your meeting with a salesperson. That's how they get cold feet. But they start thinking, you know, after a couple of days, I'm meeting with a salesperson. 
meeting with a realtor. They're going to pressure me. They're going to charge me money. Ah, maybe it's too soon. Instead, we want to say, talk about the logistics. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you at my office, at Starbucks, wherever you're meeting with them on Saturday at 9. And just to reiterate, what we're going to do is take down in detail exactly what you're looking for because I'm going to use my exclusive target marketing to find off-market unlisted properties that perfectly match what you and your family are looking for that no other buyer will know about. I'm really looking forward to helping you do that. We'll see you on Saturday. Okay, we want to bring the prospect back to the benefit of the appointment, not the fact that they're meeting with a scary salesperson. Now, on the seller side, what we want to guard against as well is we want to guard against them listing with another realtor. So one of the ways that we're going to do that is, no, number one, when we're chatting with the with our prospect, we're going to discover, are you, you know, do you have another agent? Are you meeting with other agents? And if they are, then we want to make sure that they don't go and list with another agent, which is not that difficult to do when you can say, um, I'm not suggesting that you not list with any other agent. All I would ask of you, if it's fair of me, is that you wait to make that decision until you've had a chance to see all of the extras that we do to get your home sold for more money above and beyond what any other agent is going to tell you. So again, I get it. This is your decision. But if you have a chance to talk to me as well as them, which I think is a good idea, you can make that decision. It'll be a lot clearer. Is that fair of me to ask of you, Mr. or Mrs. Home Seller? Okay, that's the gist of how this conversation goes. And I want you to notice this. I could say that same thing 10 different ways, but I'd be saying the same thing, but maybe just... That's, that's what we're looking for is a conversation with the prospect that brings their guard down, that brings this threat of the salesperson down by just speaking to them like they're a human being that you're having a conversation with in the lineup at the grocery store. So now there are other things that we can do to assure the appointment, but those are a couple of really, really um, good established tips that will ensure that when you book an appointment with a buyer, it's more likely to happen. And when you book an appointment with a seller, it's more likely that the appointment not only happens, but that they are guarded against listing with another agent before they've had a chance to come and talk to you. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we try to do tips regularly. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber to Agent Inner Circle, you got to get on that. I know most of you are. Lots and lots of tips from all the experts in the real estate community. This is an absolute hotbed for getting all the tips you would need to really, really take your real estate career into the stratosphere. So look forward to more of these tips. I'm James with Agent Lead to Close. We specialize specifically in helping agents with their lead conversion, which fortunately for you, developing that skill is free doesn't cost any money to be awesome at converting your leads, at converting your database, at converting your sphere of influence, at converting even referral business. But if you lack the skill and the, the uh, technicals behind lead conversion, then what winds up happening is you've got lots of potential, but no sales in the, in the column and the bank account starts to look a little sad. So www.agentleadtoclose.com. Check it out. Get a little bit of training so that we really start 2025 on a good note. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.